Hi and welcome back. Today I'm going to explain the lab tool in raw therapy. I'm in raw therapy 5.6 and we will be working on this image using just the lab tool. I've done basic exposures and all the basic stuff and now I'll just work using the lab tool. Before I'll just go shortly over the tools. So basically you have lightness, contrast and chromaticity. These are self-explanatory. What is interesting is that there's basically the same in the exposure tool, lightness, contrast and here it's called saturation. Um, these work differently as far as I know. This These work in the RGB color space while the uh, ones in the lab tool work in the lab color space and you can see a difference especially if you use the contrast uh, to show you if I pull the contrast up by let's make it comparable 33 uh, it will change the saturation whereas if I do the same thing here in the lab tool it will add contrast if I have to turn it on uh, but the picture looks less saturated because it it is working on the L channel of the LAB color space only. So um, down here you have several curves. First you have the curve for the L channel, the A and the B channel, which you can select. These are just with all the possibilities you have in raw therapy. You just get a tone curve and you can then select several tonal ranges and change them. Then you have uh, these curves here, LH, CH and HH, which stands for luminance according to hue, chromaticity according to hue and hue according to hue. These are all equalizer style curves, which means I'll show you, you have to activate the curve, the equalizer. Now we're in luminance according to hue, so we can select a hue, a color, and then change its luminance. Let's take the yellows. Oops, I'm next to the yellows. You can pull them up. You can see they're being pulled up, or you can pull them down and they get darker. You can do this with any color. You can select any new color between two already existing ones, etc., uh, etc. Et you can reset the curves always by clicking on this little button. And you can also select a hue by pushing, uh, clicking, selecting this color picker here and then just going over the image and it will show you, the white line will show you the color you're floating over. Now if you want to select the specific color you are floating over at the moment, you just uh, push command and left click and then it will uh, select that color and you can scroll up and down again command left click and I can scroll in the image to scroll to pull the the selected point up or down so the same basically this is the same way these uh, work only that here you select at, at the CH curve you select a hue and you change the its chromaticity basically the saturation and uh, at the HH curve you select uh, your hue and you change its hue. Then you have the CCLC and CL curves. These are tone curves again, uh, tone curve style curves like this and basically you can change the chromaticity according to chromaticity so you can select uh, very colorful regions back here and change them into more or less colorful or you can change less colorful regions and make them more colorful. For instance this uh, pulls up the less colorful regions uh, and just uh, over, uh, exaggerate it a little bit. Um, the LC curve is the luminance according to chromaticity so you select either the desaturated or the saturated areas and you can change their luminance only and here is chromaticity according to luminance so you can select the brighter parts and change their chromaticity or only the darker parts and change their chromaticity okay so now we're going to work on this image 
a typical thing I would do is first go to the LH curve. This was an early morning shot, so the sun was illuminating the castle. So I want to take the the yellows and the reds. I want to pull them up to get this light uh, shining feeling a little more. So I select the yellows. I pull them up. You can see it in the foliage. I will select the reds. I pull them up as well, which will brighten especially the castle here. And then the sky is a little bit bright. I want to get the blues. Pull them down. Um, maybe not too strong otherwise it looks too unreal something like this now if you pull the blues it's especially visible in the sky if I now zoom in at 100% um, you can see that there's quite some noise in the sky this happens if you pull the, the blues down this image isn't denoised so to get rid of that you just go to the uh, details tab select your noise reduction turn it on and in this case it gets rid of the problem um, if that is not enough you can make the noise reduction stronger okay back to the image we've changed all the luminosity according to you as I like it now we go to the chromaticity according to you activate uh, the yellows are quite pale so we make them more saturated something like this and also the reds could need some more saturation maybe that's too much something like this now the blue also the sky could also use a little more color so I'll just pull it up and you can see we get this this shining sunlight on the castle and on the foliage the feeling we can turn the lab tool off just to see the huge difference we already made so going on um, now we go to the hue by hue equalizer what I like to do here is um, the yellows are in the on the castle wall and also in the foliage I want to make the yellows a little warmer so I pull them towards the red um, just to give you show you if I pull them down it goes towards the color to the left if I pull it up it goes towards the color to the right so I want to make them a little more orangey not very much just a little bit to add a little bit uh, of color contrast and I take the greens and I pull them to the opposite direction towards the blues this gives me more contrast here in the foliage more color contrast then if you want you can take your blue in the sky and make it a teal sky which is hip today this is exaggerated so just make a slight teal coloring um, okay and to finalize I would go to the L curve this is my uh, tone curve and I just want to have a little bit more contrast in the, in the image so I would just pull up the highlights a little bit and pull down the shadows and try to not lose all my mid-tones something like this so what have we, we got we started here and we finished here just by using the lab tool and i think this is quite nice so that's it for today see you next time bye